Hi, welcome back to the tip of the day. So I'm in my bedroom and I thought I'd show you my free art wally thing. Now you may not be into butterflies, but that's okay because you can totally use this same thing for, you know those flowers you get from Ikea that are like folded up? You can you make them out of Bristol board and then like fold them, just like bend them with your finger, the petals to go up. You can like do silhouettes of birds, you can do silhouettes of whatever you're into, just out of paper and push pins and you have free art for your wall. My husband says it looks like I'm a 13 year old because <laughs> that's something like a 13 year old would want in their room, but whatever. I needed something to fill the space. I didn't want to have to spend any money so I just took out some cardstock and a pair of scissors. <laughs> so here we go. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it. Um, they're kind of like sticking out from the wall a bit so I like it because you see the shadow on the butterflies. All I did was Google butterfly template, trace them out onto cardstock like you can, they actually have the template of all these different kinds so I put the paper on front and then cut it out on cardstock and then hot glued push pins on them. I don't know if you can see, it's just a push pin. So I just hot glued it on. So because they're raised up from the wall, it just gives it some dimension and it was free! Art! Like I've seen these before with the different shapes, flowers, and you can also do different colors. I've seen it before, you know, where it's on an accent wall and some are white and some are black or some are hot pink and it looks really, really cool and I totally love it. So free art just, you can also use Bristol board from the dollar store or cardstock and you can bend them too to give them even more dimension. Also wanted to show you a really cheap way that I updated my dresser. So we didn't have room for a dresser before at the old house, but then moving here I knew we had a dresser, so I bought a really cheap old dresser for 20 bucks. And then I used, this is actually Border from Lowe's, and it's peel and stick. <laughs> and it was the right like size, so all I had to do was roll it out and then I changed the hardware. So I'm going to show you the before, I'm going to pop it in for you. So you can check it out and you're probably like, hey, you're using your flip. Yeah, I unplugged it, took the battery out, reset it, and then charged it for a long time. So I'm getting some juice from it. Yay! So there's my dresser. But I just wanted to say, oh my gosh, I've had some really sweet people off offer to give me cameras, buy me a camera. Um, honestly, <laughs> obviously I would not accept that, but thank you so much. It's like YouTube is the friendliest community out there honestly everyone is so sweet and so kind and always putting the nicest comments I mean I've been doing this now for a year I almost have half a million views and I could count on my hand the amount of negative comments I've gotten like people are so sweet so I appreciate it so much but anyways I just want oh I'll show you my closet I'm rambling come with me come see my closet so we don't want to spend money in the closet on organizing right now but eventually I'm gonna get one of those you know those cube things that go up here and then put another half bar on the bottom for my husband's pants you can see he has way more clothes than me <laughs> which is so funny but I use my dollar store bins on the top shelves which I love because I can easily get to them but it's the stuff that I don't wear all the time, like camis and pashminas and bathing suits. So it's a great way to utilize that. And I'm going to put a lower bar down here with another spot for cubbies in the middle. Like, you know what I mean, those thin, skinny thingamajiggers. But not now. So anyways, my bedroom's not completely done. Still have some other things to hang. My kids are screaming, I gotta go. See you next time.